We begin with breaking news. One person is in critical condition at this hour, the victim of a shooting at a local restaurant. Meanwhile, authorities are working to arrest the man believed to be responsible. We begin our coverage in Clay County. That's where a SWAT team is gathered. Valley News Team's Alex Larson kicks off our team coverage. She's live with details. Alex, where are you and what's the latest? Where are you and what's the latest? Hey Mike, we're in between Rolag and Holly on 230th Street South and 40th Avenue South near Silver Lake. A person who lives near here says police told them the suspect has been detained and it's safe to come out of their homes now. We were told on our way out here to stay as far away from the scene as possible because it was still very active just a few minutes ago. If you look behind me, it's a little hard to see, but it said the car the suspect stole is in the ditch. A chase started after there was a report of a stolen vehicle and police found the suspect's own vehicle at that address after the shooting. Then the stolen vehicle was spotted in Clay County where officers started a pursuit. The suspect crashed and officers were said to have been very cautious approaching it and SWAT was being called in as a precaution as it's believed the man was said to still be armed. We will keep you updated with the latest here on Valley News Live reporting live near Silver Lake. Alex Larson, Valley News Live. Mike. All right, thanks so much, Alex. That shooting took place at the Plaza Azteca at 5505 28th Avenue South in Fargo. That's where we find Valley News Live's crime and safety reporter, Bailey Hurley. Bailey. Mike, shots rang out just before 2 o'clock this afternoon when police say that that man fired multiple shots both at the woman and her 8-month-old child, hitting that 8-month-old child both in her left hand and her left thigh. Now, police say at this time, they believe that there are multiple rounds fired from a handgun. Police say that the man fired at the woman multiple times, both inside the restaurant and then continued to follow her as she was trying to make her way outside of the restaurant. Uh, witnesses tell me that she found her way into the kitchen. Staff were trying to help her, and that's when witnesses say that they saw that man reloading that handgun. They ran for their lives outside to safety. The woman followed. Police believe that the man continued to fire once they got outside. Now, at this time, it's unclear what led to this shooting, but police say that the man and the two victims were all known to each other. Now, Mike, I did speak with Plaza Management earlier today, and they say that uh, none of their staff were harmed in this, but obviously they are very shaken up by all of this. They continue to send their thoughts and prayers to both of the victims and their families. They hope to open back up soon, but they emphasize their hearts, their thoughts, everything there are with those two victims. Live in Fargo tonight, Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live. All right, thanks so much, Bailey. Around the time of the shooting, there was an all-city track meet underway not far away between Cheyenne High School and Liberty Schools in West Fargo. As a precaution, those schools and two others were placed in lockdown. We're told at that time the athletes were sent to Liberty and Cheyenne and stayed there until the all-clear was given. Parents who either came to watch the track athletes or came to pick up their kids lined the streets and waited in their vehicles until school was let out. 